Thank you. My name is R. Joshua Collins, founder of Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. And first, I'd just like to encourage everyone to give life to Jesus Christ. He died for us. Uh, the only way to heaven. There's a heaven and a hell. And uh, we've all sinned. We all need a Savior. Uh, give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Also, I'd like to talk about the homeless issue. I'm very concerned uh, regarding these uh, kickouts that some of the homeless are receiving. 30-day forced kickouts to the streets over curfew issues. Now, each of you can probably do something about that, I think, or maybe contact the shelters. But 30 days back on the street because you come back two or three hours late, uh, for whatever reason, maybe you missed a bus or whatever it is. Harry, I mean, would you agree? I mean, I think that that's a little bit extreme. 30 days back on the street, right? All the people are working hard to get these people into shelter, including me, right? Connecting them with services and things like that. And what happens? Uh, they're kicked down the street for something silly like that. And from what I understand, the Salvation Army, they're supposed to actually have the caseworker determine, right, who gets kicked out. And sometimes that's not happening. Sometimes it's just some other a random worker that decides to have them kicked out. So my friend Tony, Tony told me about this, and it's obviously gonna uh, harm relationships between uh, the shelters, right, of course, and the homeless. Some of them are just gonna be like, I don't wanna go back there. Look how they treated me last time, you know? And, it's already hard enough to try to get homeless people into shelter. So I think definitely something has to be done about this, that you guys could maybe contact the shelter and say, hey, you know, let's not make it a 30-day kick out over a curfew issue, right? It's not like someone's been assaulted or, you know, something awful like that. So um, I hope that you'll, you'll work to, to bring change there. Uh, you know, if you don't, though, uh, things will continue. There's just going to be more, more homeless remaining. And I also think that, of course, there should be more shelter space. Ultimately, housing first is the goal. But until that happens, let's do what we can to make sure people are, are retained in shelter, if that's really the goal. Um, now, Tony said that he was uh, not even gone a full 24 hours. And one of the workers there at the Salvation Army said, oh, I assume that you aren't going to ever come back. And it doesn't really make any logical sense just because someone uh, was gone three hours over curfew. Um, so I don't know if uh, Stephen Fessel, are you guys listening? Or you, I'm not sure. You guys are both having a conversation. It doesn't seem like you're listening. It's kind of frustrating. No, I, I, I mean, I can't listen. You know, I, OK, well, appreciate your listening. I, I hope you guys will do something about it, um, you know, because you guys are getting sued sometimes for not paying attention. You know, I spoke to you years and years ago about this homeless issue. You didn't listen. You got sued and you lost. Right? You're not paying attention. And, and now the, the, the city's in this big de deficit and all that. You know, it's important you listen to the people. You know, don't ignore them. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Hey. So friends, uh, please share the video, like, subscribe, do join Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook. Let's pray that the city council pay attention, listen, and really work to bring change. These changes need to happen. I really believe that. Thanks for your prayer support. May God bless y'all. I'll see you first kingdom always. Bye-bye.